every influencer will tell you drink your greens but here's what they're not telling you most of those green powders that promise detox and energy might actually be doing the opposite to your health i investigated 25 of the most popular green powders on the market 19 companies ignored basic safety questions and only six brands were transparent and showed us the real testing to ensure they're safe and effective and here's the wild thing many of the companies that didn't respond are the big green powder companies that are sitting right there in your kitchen and they couldn't even prove that their product is free of pesticides mold or heavy metals. Get ready to find out the best green powders of 2025. I'm Dr. Christian Gonzalez, a naturopathic doctor and somatic practitioner, and my mission is to help protect two of the most major systems to health and vitality. It is your brain and your nervous system, because if you're drinking toxins in the name of health, you are not detoxifying, you are retoxifying. So let's uncover the truth about one of the most hyped supplement categories in wellness, green powders. Which ones are helping your body and which ones are expensive, green washed dust. Green powders can be powerful. They really can. They can help support detoxification. They can be nutritionally rich. They can help support your mitochondria, your gut health, and even just your overall energy. But the benefits of green powders depend entirely on how they're grown, processed, and tested. We're going to break it down. Green powders are wonderful for detox support and nutrient density. Greens like chlorella or spirulina, or wheatgrass, barley, even Moringa, they're loaded with something called chlorophyll. And chlorophyll is really, really important. They're loaded with chlorophyll, magnesium, antioxidants, enzymes that all support really important bodily processes. But when they are grown in contaminated soil or near industrial areas, they will absorb heavy metals like lead, arsenic, cadmium. The very toxins that you're trying to detoxify from can end up in your green powder. Green powders help cellular energy and brain function. They have compounds like phycocyanin, that's in spirulina, and polyphenols found in the leafy greens that help support and fuel your mitochondria. These are the engines that are really going to help every single one of your cells produce energy so you'll feel good in your body, but it's also for longevity. It really supports the neurons in the brain. But here's the catch. A lot of these really important constituents that are in the green powder, they're heat sensitive. So if the green powder companies are drying their powders with high heat or they're left exposed to air and light, up to 70% of their antioxidants and enzymes can be destroyed before you even scoop that powder in some water. Gut and immune support, greens can actually act as prebiotics, and that's wonderful because they're gonna feed your microbiome. Feeding that beneficial bacteria can actually regulate your immune system and overall inflammation. But unfortunately, processes like oxidation through pesticide residues or hidden mold can irritate the gut lining. It can trigger symptoms like bloating, fatigue, even brain fog. That's the exact opposite of what you're trying to do. You wanna feel good, you wanna feel light, you wanna feel clear. So yes, green powders can be therapeutic, but only if they're clean, verified, and alive with real nutrients. Otherwise, you're just getting colored powder with a health halo. So I wanna talk about one of the major, major issues in green powders, it is heavy metals. Greens like algae can act like sponges. They suck up what's in the soil, they suck up what's in the water. And that can lead to exposures of lead, arsenic, cadmium. Those metals can end up on your scoop and it can bioaccumulate. It accumulates in your system. Specifically, heavy metals have affinity for bones, brain, kidney, liver. So lead, one of the major ones that is found across so many health and wellness products, but lead can actually interfere with neurotransmitters in the brain. It's gonna slow down your reaction time. Arsenic tends to have an affinity for the liver, amongst many other places, but the liver really stresses the liver. It impairs the liver's ability to detoxify. Cadmium loves going to the kidneys. It can really affect your ability to detoxify, especially water-soluble toxins through the system, and it can affect your hormones, especially for the fellas out there, your testosterone. As you get older, you want to make sure you're moving away from cadmium, making sure you know where cadmium is found. Anyway, it's not just heavy metals pesticides and glyphosate. Glyphosate is the world's most used herbicide by far. And it's showing up in human urine samples across every demographic across the world. It will disrupt the gut microbiome. It will affect the intestinal walls. It will increase systemic inflammation. So when these green powders are non-organic or non-tested greens, they can be the biggest culprits here. And lastly, mold and mycotoxins. Algae and grass powders 
can hold a lot of moisture. And we all know here that the breeding ground for mold is moisture, especially if the storage is sloppy. And the problem is these mold, and the problem is mold can release mold spores. And these mold spores will hold in these mycotoxins that can absolutely affect your mitochondria, your nerves. They will give you brain fog, fatigue, mood changes, headaches. It's the worst. Companies are often masking these flavors. You look, 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 like most green powders out there. I know you probably tried one of them and said, ooh, this tastes like dirt. A lot of companies are now adding natural flavors, different additives. And depending on where they're sourcing them from, yeah, it can irritate the digestive system. It can hide poor quality raw materials. We want to make sure that the flavoring is coming from a natural source as best as possible, that it's coming from real fruits, roots, spices, all of the good stuff. So when companies can't produce a third-party test, this is called a certificate of analysis. This is proof of that third-party testing. It means that I and you have no idea what is actually in the product. The certificate of analysis is one of the most important pieces of paper a company in health and wellness can give you. And this is why I'm a stickler. I'm an advocate. This is why I push for it. This is why I do these product reviews because we want to support the companies that are out there supporting us. We want to support the companies that are doing their due diligence. But most of all, we want to support companies that a customer can reach out to and actually get someone on an email who knows about this stuff from top down. We have the top down people saying, when someone calls in and asks about a certificate analysis, we're going to tell them exactly where to go, exactly what the protocol is, exactly how proud we are as a company. So here's what I found after months of investigation out of 25 brands, 19 refused to answer safety questions, basic safety questions. And only six companies were transparent. Only six companies shared real data and proved clean sources and testing. Amazing. Wish it was more, but amazing. So let's break down who passed and who failed and stick around because for the companies that passed, I'm going to tell you which one would be best for you. Every single company got the same questions. What greens, algae, or herbs are in your formula? Where are they coming from? Are they organic? How are they processed? You're going to learn how important this is. Processing matters. Freeze-dried, air-dried, heat-dried. Do they test for heavy metals, pesticides, glyphosates, mold, microbes? Do they have those third-party testing available, those certificate of analysis? Do they use natural flavors, gums, or fillers? And what about sustainability? We want to support companies that are actually leaning into sustainability. If they couldn't answer these questions and provide a certificate of analysis, if they ignored our attempts, then they're not mentioned on the show. And I'm going to say this before I even go into it. If they're not mentioned on the show, it doesn't mean that they're a bad company. It means that they're not transparent or they need to get their act together at corresponding to the customers. We as customers should be able to know what is in the product with third-party testing, period advocate for yourself. All right, before we get into the list, if you want to see the full master list of every product review I've ever done, the full ebook broken down by industry so you can find what companies to support for 2025, that link is in the show notes. Go there and get the master sheet for every product review. It's free and it's updated after every investigation. It's going to save you time and money. All right, green powder companies. Here are companies that I cannot advocate for. Fresh products, Boku Superfoods, Barleen's Organic, Poofy Organics, and Better Days. They fail because no response, no transparency. Maybe we have to just rely on their marketing, detoxifying, alkalizing. Without any proof of purity, testing, or sourcing, I'm not interested. Here's one of the best brands to support Organifi. The Organifi green juice formula includes spirulina, chlorella, coconut water, wheatgrass, beet, matcha, turmeric, lemon, prebiotic fiber, ashwagandha, moringa. It's amazing formula. And the ingredients are organic, they're glyphosate residue free, and they're processed in California. They used air drying and gentle heat drying and freeze drying. They protect the heat sensitive nutrients so you get a product that works. They share their third party testing publicly. All flavors are certified organic, and all their heavy metals on that test, I saw it with my own eyes, are under Proposition 65, really, really strict standards. Their level of transparency puts them as one of the top tier greens in the industry. This is good for anyone who wants everyday green formula that is clean, adaptogenic, supports your stress, and is verified safe by me. Did you know that greens like spirulina and chlorella are 60 to 70% protein by weight? 
but they only retain that integrity if they're dried below 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Anything higher denatures the amino acids and enzymes in green powder is very important to know. Here are more companies that I cannot vouch for, maybe next year, doTERRA, WellEco, Ancient Nutrition, California Gold, and Equalife. Why did these fail? These are major wellness names with major reach, yet none provided testing or sourcing transparency. Several claim to be doctor formulated, but when they're asked for any of this, they can't even provide it or silence. It's just annoying. So trust comes back when we have data. So maybe next year. Here is a transparent brand number two, AG1. Very. So this just proves to me, it doesn't matter how big the company is. If they have people trained to respond to the customer and lead us to the right place, that's a company doing the right thing by us. AG1 is NSF certified for sport, one of the most rigorous certifications in the supplement world. That means that every batch is independently tested for contaminants, heavy metals, and banned substances. They share publicly their quality standards on their website. They test for pesticides, herbicides, glyphosate, heavy metals, all of the nasty stuff. And for them, all of them are exceptionally low. I saw it with my own eyes. Thank you for that, AG1. It's non-GMO, gluten-free, dairy-free, lactose-free, egg-free, peanut-free, and made in an NSF certified facility. And it's really cool. They also run sustainable initiatives that are gearing towards addressing global food insecurity. That is a rare move in the industry. This is good for any professionals or athletes who want clean, certified, all-in-one greens without any compromise. Did you know that NSF certification means that products are tested both pre-production and post-production? And even the manufacturing equipment is inspected. So very few companies meet this bar. If it's NSF certified, that company is a really, really high level company. Here are green powder companies that we couldn't get in touch with and that I cannot vouch for 2025. Huel, Yes Please, Soluna, Brickhouse, and this one hurts me, New Zest. I know New Zest is a great company and I know they are consistently transparent with the COAs and it's consistently low, but for some reason, we just couldn't get in touch with them. We asked multiple times. It just, it hurts me to do that one because I actually believe in New Zest a lot, uh, but maybe next year. Transparent brand number three, we're going to get into it. Anima Mundi. Anima Mundi's green powder is certified organic, vegan, gluten-free. It's made in a GMP and GFSI certified facility. It is clean. It is standardized. They use freeze drying, not heat, to preserve enzyme activity and the chlorophyll that's in it. Every batch is tested for mold, pesticides, glyphosate, and mycotoxins, and they came out clean. No fillers, no gums, nothing like that. And each final formula is sent out for third-party testing for them. So that's fantastic to make sure that whatever gets to the shelves is clean. Who might this one be good for? Those who want pure herbal greens made with medicinal grade integrity. It's a great clean company with zero additives, Anima Mundi. Did you know that freeze drying, did you know that in the freeze drying process, it retains up to 95% of antioxidant content? Heat drying drops that number to around 40%. If your greens lose their bright color, the nutrients are often gone too. Here's another batch of companies that were not responsive at all, unfortunately. Wish I could vouch for, but can't do it this year. Sun Warrior, Xena, and Sun Food. Why did they fail this product review investigation? They were consistently unreachable. They were consistently not there. No correspondence over multiple reach outs, asking for just simple questions to be filled out and providing a third party lab report for us to be shown as consumers. Really important, remember, these companies should be able to provide these things for you. It's your right to have access to these things. And it's really important for you to know these things so you know where to put your hard earned money. You wanna know that a company has the personnel that is trained, responsive, and ready, ready to be proud to say, here's my company, we are excited to share this with you, or I'm gonna connect you to the right person immediately because we want to stand up on that mountaintop and show everyone that we are a transparent company that is excited by the things that we're doing. That's a company we wanna support. We always wanna support companies like that. Don't support companies that you can't even get in touch with. Transparent brand number four, that is not in any order by the way, or Organics Greens, they blend barley, wheatgrass, alfalfa leaf, oak grass, spinach, kale, chlorella, spirulina. It is certified organic. It is tested for heavy metals, microbes, glyphosate, and pesticides, and their COAs are publicly available. They provided it directly to us, which is amazing. And the brand set the gold standard for radical transparency. They're every single year, they always, we reach out, 
They answer the questions. They send us certificates of analysis. It's always like that. They're one of the fantastic companies that keep showing up for you. That's a company to support. Did you know that barley grass and alfalfa contain these enzymes that are really, really potent in the liver? They are potent for detoxification, and it's called superoxide dismutase, SOD. They protect against oxidative stress, but those enzymes, they die really fast with light exposure, so your greens should always be in opaque containers. We got another company to support, Perfect Supplements. Perfect Supplements Aquatic Greens Powder is chlorella rich. It is USDA organic. It is manufactured in the United States. They do post-lab testing on the product page. It includes heavy metals, microbes, nutritional profile reports, no fillers, no gums. Every lot is third-party tested, so it's true to specification. This is good for anyone who wants single ingredient purity and full lab transparency without any marketing fluff. But did you know that when it comes to chlorella, the cell wall actually has to be mechanically cracked for bioavailability. Non-cracked chlorella passes through undigested, meaning it absorbs almost into nothing. You always want cracked chlorella. And the last brand to be fully transparent, fully responsive, fully excited about their brand is Mixers, M-I-X-H-E-R-S. This is a superfood green powder that has chlorella, spirulina, alfalfa, barley, wheatgrass, oatgrass, moringa. It's got parsley, it's got other things. They are not certified organic, but they use low pesticide sustainable farms that are made in CGMP and NSF certified facilities. They use low temperature processing. They test for heavy metals, pesticides, glyphosate, mycotoxins all the microbes, all the nasty stuff. And when I reviewed their third-party testing, it showed low heavy metals, which was fantastic. I was really excited by that. This is good for anyone who wants greens made in certified facilities that still value that sustainability and affordability. Did you know that low temperature drying keeps enzyme systems like catalase and peroxidase intact? And these enzymes are amazing at neutralizing free radicals in real time, meaning reducing inflammation. So there you have it out of 25 brands, 19 ignored our uh, basic safety questions. Us reaching out in advocacy as consumers didn't get anything to all the companies that ignored. I wish I could have included you all in this product review. And I really hope in 2026, when we reach out and do our green powder review, we can include more companies with more transparency, more advocacy. Look, this is what we do. This is how we start having companies held accountable and knowing that it's really important to be able to provide clean, pure transparency to you as the customer. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you are. You deserve to know what is in your product. And if companies are not able to provide you the lab results when you reach out to them, asking for them, then it doesn't deserve your trust. And if companies aren't able to provide you lab results or send you to a page where there are lab results, then it doesn't deserve your trust. You shouldn't have to jump through hoops. You should just reach out and have a company be really proud of what they are. If you want the full list as an ebook, it's right in the description. Click there to get the 2025 Green Powder Breakdown. Enjoy your greens, make sure they're clean, and thank you for listening to this show.